Now we are going to solve some problems about these equations. First problem. A pair of narrow parallel slits separated by a distance. And yeah, slit separation. Distance between two slits, D. We said it is D, eh? Do you remember? So this is S1, this is S2, and distance between them, D is equal to how much? 0.25 millimeter. D is equal to 0.25 millimeter. But millimeter is not as a as argument. We have to convert it to meter by multiplying 10 to the power of negative 3. So it's going to be 0.25 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters. Illuminated by a green component of the micro vapor lamp. Yeah, the mercury inside the lamp, there is a mercury, and this mercury is given green light. Remember, I said that every color has a corresponding wavelength. This green light has a wavelength which is equal to 546.1 nanometer. Ah, nanometer 10 to the power negative 9. We are going to multiply this by 10 to the power negative 9 to convert meter. So lambda, wavelength of this light is 546.1 nanometer and 546.1 times 10 to the power of negative, negative 9 meter. Centimeter to meter, negative 2. Millimeter to meter, negative 3. Micrometer to meter, negative 6. Nanometer to meter, negative 9. Calculate the angle from the central maximum. Hmm, maximum, the first time you heard this. Maximum means two waves are in phase, so they constructively interfere, and it gets maximum value. Yeah, the bright. Central bright. This maximum is defining bright. Maximum is defining the constructive interference. So central maximum, you know, where is the center? It's at the center. From central maximum, yani from this dashed line, from this, this dashed line, to the first bright fringe. But there are two for one, the first bright fringe. One of them is on the left, the other one is on the right. Yani you can draw a line from the midpoint of the uh, slits to first bright on the left, and this angle theta, or first bright on the right, same angle. There you go. And this is there, that's also theta. Calculate this theta. How much is this theta? Find, calculate the angle from the central maximum, so central line, to the first bright fringe on either side of central maximum. Calculate theta. So we are going to choose the equation for constructive interference because this is constructive interference. Bright fringe occurs when there's a constructive interference. And the equation for constructive interference is D sine theta is equal to m times lambda. lambda. Uh, it's m is how much? One. Yes, m is one. First, m is equal to one. calculate theta. So theta is the question. I will calculate theta. So I have to simplify. D divide both sides is simplified it. So theta is going to be sine theta is equal to m lambda divided by d. But I will calculate theta, not sine theta. Sine inverse. Theta is going to be sine inverse in bracket m lambda divided by d. After that, insert the given numbers and calculate the angle. So sine inverse brackets. m is 1, so no need to write 1 in multiplication. Lambda is 546.1 times 10 to the power of negative 9 meter <laughs> divided by d. How much is D? 0.25 10 to the power of negative 3. 0.25 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Because in the denominator there is an exponential number, use always brackets in the denominator as well. So when you use these brackets properly, you will get the angle as 0.13 degrees. 
theta is all point 13 degrees. Yeah, and this angle is all point 13 degrees, or that angle is all point 13 degrees. One question to you. This equation tells you that this theta is changing with m, d, and lambda. Remember I said that every different color has a different wavelength. Which color has the longest wavelength? Yeah. Shortest wavelength? Yeah. So then tell me. So this angle is determining the position of the fringes with respect to central gravity. Yeah, and how close or how far a fringe is. Which color you expect? Red or violet? Red. To be closest. Red. Closest to the Closest to the center, violet. Why? Because smaller lambda causes a smaller angle. Violet will be closest to the center. But red, because greater wavelength, greater angle. Red is farthest from the. So, the separation between the giant and theta changes for light of different wavelengths according to this equation sine theta as lambda increases wherever it could be as lambda increases the angle also increases now red or violet which one has a greater wavelength red 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 has a longer wavelength because red is a longer wavelength its angle is greater theta is greater because violet has a smaller wavelength, its theta is smaller. Mm -hmm. Smaller theta means it's closer to the center. Closer to the center of the giant. Uh, greater theta means it is farther from the center. Okay? So now, examine this exam question. If double slit interface experiments are performed for light rays with different colors, blue, red, orange, yellow, Red. Red. Theta, the yani angular displacement for which is larger? Red. Red. Yellow, orange, red or blue? Red. red. So, greater wavelength, far greater theta. Let me change the question. For which color angular displacement is smallest? Yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Blue. blue. Which one is closer to, closer to violet? Blue. Blue. blue is closer to violet. Ah, I didn't see blue. Blue. Blue is position the smallest theta in these colors, okay? Longer wavelength, greater theta. Smaller wavelength, smaller theta. It's being close or far? Being close to the center or far from the center? So, violet is always closer to the center, but red is going to be far from the center. One more problem. The distance between two slits is 0.03 millimeter. So this is D. D is equal to 0.03 millimeter. Of course, we have to multiply by 10 to the power of negative 3. 0.03 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter is the distance between the slits. Second order bright range. Second order means M is equal to 2. M is equal to 2. And it's bright. Yeah, it constructed in terms. Fringe is measured at a given screen at an angle of 2.15. This time angle is given. Yeah. Theta is 2.15 degrees. From the central maximum. Always we measure angle from the central line. Determine the wavelength. This time we will find wavelength. In the previous problem, wavelength was given. Question was the theta. But now theta is given. Question is there. So let's use the equation again. Constructive, uh, constructive interference. D sine, D sine theta D sine is equal theta. to m lambda. M. We will calculate the lambda. So it's simplify m. m. So D m lambda is equal to D sine theta divided by m. How much is D? All point, all three times 10 to the power of negative 3. How much is angle? 2.15. Yeah, sine 
2.15 degrees divided by m is 2. You will get the result in terms of meter. Lambda is going to be 5.62. 5, 5, 5. 5. 5. 6, uh, 62. Yes. 62 times 10 to the power oh, of negative 7. Negative 7 meter. But when you check Mr. Exam question, you are going to see that they will give their given answers not in meter. No. Nanometer. No. This time you should convert meter to nanometer by multiplying 10 to the power of 9. Yeah. Me nanometer to meter, multiply by 10 to the power of negative 9, meter to nanometer, multiply by 10 to the power of positive 9. So lambda is going to be 5.62 times 10 to the power of negative 7 times 10 to the power of 9 nanometer. Result is going to be 562. 562 nanometer is the wavelength of this light. Learning the wavelength of a light is not that hard nowadays because we have electronic machines. Yeah. You are just holding it across the light, saying you are wavelength of this light is this. But in the, in the past it was not that easy. To know the wavelength of a light, you should do this experiment. By this double slit experiment, you could calculate. You could. So that's why double slit experiment is used to make the first measurement of the wavelength of a light. Two openings, shine the light on the openings, from openings on the screen, measure the angle, measure the distance between the between the slits, how much, how many centimeters, and also which order it is, by this equation, calculate the wavelength. Double slit experiment is the first measurement, first method, or first experiment done to measure the wavelength of a light. Until here we defined single colors. Yeah, and only monochromatic light interfere. But all lights are not monochromatic. For example, sunlight consists of many colors. Why is this composition of other colors? Yeah. What if we use a white light in interpret double slit experiment? When a white light source is used instead of monochromatic light to observe interference, interference will be a little different. This is single color. Yeah, the green. As you see, central bright range. Very far away, first bright range. Very far away, second bright range. Third bright range, and so on. But daylight consists of all the colors. But we know that some one color is closest to center, but one color is farthest. Which color is closest? Violet. Violet. Which color is farthest? Red. Now look at this band. It is shifting from violet to red. red. Why? Because red is a longer wavelength than violet. Violet is closer, red is farther. These are the first uh, bright fringe for all the colors. These are second bright fringes of all the colors. Again, from violet to red. Third bright fringe. Again, violet to red. It's changing this way. Or blue. So, violet to Right. You see a color of spectrum. This is called spectrum of light. From violet to red. From violet to red. From violet to red. So, what, but look at the center. Center is white. Right. Why? Central bright fringe occurs at angle of zero for every color. When all colors mix, it appears white. So, white color includes the waves on many wavelengths. There is a constructive interference between the light waves of the same wavelength. Still blue and blue, still green and green, and still yellow and yellow interfere from two sources, but, but their positions are different. This results in color bands on either side of the center band. Center band is completely white. Center band is completely white because all the colors are mixing, and this mixture makes white. But other bands are colorful. They are changing from violet to red. First band, second band, third band, fourth band, it goes on this way. This effect also accounts for bands of color seen on the soap bubble. 
So bubble, remember? So the shifting from the violet to red. We can very careful, we will see that. Violet to red. Why? Violet has a shortest wavelength. Red has a longest wavelength. For that reason, red is always away from you. Violet is close to you. Because violet is closer to the center. One last problem. We will finish. This section has finished with this problem. In this section, all the problems are about the light. Just one problem is not about the light. It's about electromagnetic waves, not visible to us, not a lot. Radio waves. Radio waves. Two radio antennas. What is antenna? You know it? Antenna? Antenna uh, at the top of the Azmar uh, mountain, there is an antenna and sending electromagnetic waves around. That huge tower is an antenna which sends electromagnetic waves for communication or for radio waves or televisions. Antennas. Two radio antennas transmit identical signals with the wavelength of 3.25 meters. Yes, radio waves are very long in wavelength. 3 meters. Lambda is 3 meters. Identical. Yes, their wavelengths are same. Also, they are coherent. So they can form an interference. Because interference is available not only for light, all kinds of electromagnetic. So, wavelength of these radio waves are 3.35 meters. So, yes, one antenna is in here, other antenna is in here, two antennas. One antenna is source one, other antenna is source two. Two sources. Produces electromagnetic waves. This picture is given in the book. Don't worry, if they ask this question, they will give this picture to you. Send in all around, every direction. A radio several miles away, in a car, several miles away, there is a car. This box is the car. Inside this box, the car, there is a radio. So radio is catching the electromagnetic waves coming from the antennas. Remember, 63 at the end, when we are talking about the resonating circuit, I'll talk about that. So your radio frequency and uh, these antennas frequency must be each other. So you are going to catch the signal and you are going to start Listen to the radio. A radio several miles away in a car traveling parallel to, parallel to what? Straight line between the antennas. Now draw a straight line between the antennas. One antenna is in here, another antenna is here. Draw a straight line. Is it in vertical? Yes. So this car is moving vertical. And in this direction. That way. And the direction of the velocity of the car is this. It's just like a kind of screen. Yeah, I think that there's a screen, and this car is moving on a screen. So, and this radio is receiving the signal, so you are going to listen radio. But, these two waves coming from these two antennas interfere at different locations. At some regions, they construct the interfere, some regions destruct the interfere. In this question, they give you a location, a point at which constructive interplay. How do I understand? If the second order maximum. For electromagnetic waves, we don't use bright fringe because bright is only for light. Visible. For other invisible electromagnetic waves, we are going to use maximum. Maximum, maximum is constructive interference. So for second maximum, and M is equal to? Second maximum. Located the angle. Yes, second max maximum is in here. Second. M is equal to 2. Second uh, maximum is located at an angle of 1.28. Node of the central maximum. That's central line. Theta. How much? 1.28 degrees. Okay. Node of the central maximum for the interfering signal. What is distance D between the antennas? Yeah, in fact, they're asking you separation between the slits. Yeah, and if you think about the double slit experiment, what is separation between the sources? How much is D? D is the question. So this is, not, this is a constructive interference, maximum. A uh, question for constructive interference is what? B sine theta is equal to? 
m times lambda. What is the question, T? So simplify sine theta. So b is equal to m lambda divided by sine theta. m is second maximum, which is 2. Lambda is 3.25. Divided by sine of how much is the angle? 1.8. I think this is 300. Yes. Yes, these two antennas at a distance of 300 meters from one another. 